Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back with more Devotion Intelligent Play Sonic 3 Air. Angel Islands revisited Sonic and Knuckles part. We are in Flying Battery Act 2. We managed to defeat that whatever it was that looks like an animal capsule. The animal holding capsule. I think they're just called robotizer capsules in the manual. <clears throat> from what I recall. Going down. <laughs> and now we're continuing on. Hopefully we'll find Eggman and bring his flying battery fortress down some other way. Why does Eggman have to have a flying fortress all the time? Why can't he, why can't he get a... Why can't he get a one that... You d good job, Tails. Okay, well... <clears throat> I say that. A, a flying airship is probably better to get around than one that... I don't know, tunnels underground, goes underwater. A lot more practical, I guess. But, you know, that is something I would like to see. It's just like, instead of airships all the time, why don't we get a tunnel ship, huh? I have this gigantic fortress that bores through the earth. <clears throat> you know, I know there's probably a lot of people saying just like, Oh, you missed a special stage ring there, and a special stage ring there, and a special stage ring there! Uh, uh, uh. It doesn't matter if I have all the emeralds at this point, I've always get all the emeralds. Before the end of Mushroom Hill Zone. Like, I, I'm aware that there's still probably a whole lot of special stage rings <clears throat> around in later levels that I'm not aware of. But, you know, when I'm at a point where I don't need them, I'm not going to go looking for them. I'm just going to keep playing the game. Spray fire at me. Look, look at me. You just walk straight through your fire because I got a fire shield. I mean, there's one right there, and I got that one. Huh? Oh, shit! Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. Not that it matters, Dr. Robotnik's right here. Oh! The laser strategy again? Thought you learned your lesson from the last time you tried this. Uh, although, maybe you have, there's no platforms. Um... Uh-oh. And this place is getting tighter! Oh boy, I think he learned his lesson. We're running out of room to escape this thing. Unfortunately, so is he. Yeah, a laser. You know, it, it, it would be enough if you had made the laser, you know, so that it would trap us in that area without giving me any platforms to jump up and reach it. Granted, with supersonic... If I turned into hypersonic, it wouldn't matter. But then you go and make the lasers powerful enough to punch through your airship as you're firing. You overcompensated there, you nitwit. And this, well, I'm hypersonic now, so it doesn't stand any chance. Just start flipping. You stand no chance. <clears throat> you won't escape this time. Okay, he escaped. But we're gonna go after him. Right? Right? Yeah, and it would be at this point that 
you would transition to, uh... Okay. It would transition, that the game would have originally had you transition to Ice Cap Zone if the original level order was in, play, was in order. Sonic would take the door that he knocked off and use that as a snowboard. Uh, instead, we're being dropped into Sandopolis! What many people consider, and I can understand why, one of the worst zones in the game, on the simple fact that A, it's a desert level, and B, it goes on too long. Like, this is a bit, like, even without, you know, looking for stuff in this stage, this is a long zone. Like, there's certainly a lot of opportunities to go exploring different pathways throughout this stage, and that's one of the things that I like about it, you know, in terms of, you know, just going around and playing it. But at the same time, it drags itself out. Speaking of, uh, these blocks... Okay. Uh, one thing that they changed about Sonic 3 Air is that those blocks that I was pushing usually took a lot longer to move, but I guess they sped up this process a little bit. Not too much, but enough to be noticeable, I think. Whoa, Billy. Oh, down we go. I don't know. And the music, it's not that great either. I mean, it is, you know, pretty good still. But it still has that sort of, uh... That sort of thematic is just like, oh yeah, this sounds like the sort of, uh, stereotypical, like, Egyptian sort of theme, in a way. It just begs the question, what's a place like, what, this is, this must be a gigantic island, because we're seeing pyramids in a great big vast desert in the background, you know, and among all the other places that we visited on this island. Like, a, the snow caps, the, the mushroom forests, you know, indicates that Angel Island is a huge place. And it should remain a huge place throughout the rest of the time that we see it in the rest of the series, except no, it doesn't. It's just like, yeah, Angel Island is still big when it's revisited in Sonic Adventure, but... <laughs> compared to this? No. Like, this is... Like, this is not just an island. This is, uh... Miniature continent, I'd want to say. Ah, screw you. I'm hypersonic now, bitch. Oh yeah, I can untransform. Good. I, you know, I don't know why I never tried that up until this point, but yeah, you can untransform in Sonic 3 AIR. So, that's good to know. Like, I, I got myself a shield now, I can protect myself and my rings. Hmm. Are those the same worm enemies from, uh... Yeah, I think those are the same Worm Badniks from Mystic Cave Zone. Oh, good to know that some Badniks can actually get repurposed. It's a rarity. Ah, there was a special stage up there that I missed. Not that it matters, I've got Tails. 
And all of the emeralds. Anyway, so doesn't matter. <clears throat> Rock. Rock. Ah, you scorpion. Nitwit. God. Dear. Woo. <clears throat> Yeah, 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 yeah. That would have been a cheap shot. <sighs> yeah, we've been in this stage for about four and a half minutes. I'm, I've spent longer in other stages. I think I've spent a long time in Marble Garden Zone. Am I doing this again, really? Oh, come on. All I need is either all the rings or a shield or both. Uh, oh, a pyramid rises from the sands. The door opens and a rock. Oh no. It's a golem! Yes. This, I believe, is... I think it's actually called the Egg Golem. And, you know, for the longest time, I thought I had this thing as a toy because I'm an idiot who doesn't realize that a transforming rock is a fucking rock lord. But, yeah, you can't actually fight the thing... You have to lure it over into the sand and, or, well, knock it into the sand and let it sink. I think it's m much more worth your time to just let it go on it, lure it over there and let it go in on its own. But inside the pyramid, we continue Sandopolis Zone. It's dark at first, but hit the switch and the torches light up. Not sure how that works, but okay. Yeah, and this, honestly, is understandably the stage where a lot of people are just like... <sighs> Why is it so long? Because this is the longer of the two stages in the zone by just plain old merit of being long. And then there's that! You know, you're forced to hit that capsule and open it up, and inside that capsule are a bunch of ghosts. And the gimmick of this stage is that the less light there is in the stage, the more aggressive those ghosts get, until the lights are all out, at which the ghosts start attacking you. So, it's a race to keep the lights on. <clears throat> which, all things considered, isn't that tedious as a process, and thank you, Tails. Well. Yeah, thank you, Tails. <laughs> You're being a good buddy there today, Tails. You know, compared to what he's usually doing in the previous games and getting me in all sorts of shenanigans. <sighs> Yeah, I, I don't mind some of the slower elements of these stages with the switch puzzles and the rock pushing. This, on the other hand, I do mind, which is why I'm going to skip it entirely with Tails' help. Because this is a part where you would have to stand around and watch the sand rise up. And, of course, you know, you have to ride the sand up through these areas. Not getting your, making sure you don't get crushed, getting through all the obstacles, and making sure you make it to the top before the sand kills you. Or the ghosts, because uh, they can be a problem. 
but part of the, you know, it's it's another one of those cases where it's a slow process, but a lot of the reason I don't like it is not because of its slowness, but because there are glitches, there's a glitch where sometimes you, the, the sand will just go up without you. And if it does, you're kind of boned. Like, um, unless you have tails with you. But, again, that's the reason I don't like it. I don't care whether or not it's slow. I just care about the fact that there's potential glitch where he can end up falling straight through it and not have any effect. No, I think that's a place that only Knuckles can get up to, but we're gonna try and fly up there, right, Tails? Come on. Come on! Yeah! We made it! Come on! You keep on lifting me, Tails! Keep on lifting me! Keep on lifting me higher and higher. Why am I singing that song? <laughs> uh. Yeah, standoffless. It's been four minutes and we're still here. And. It's not gonna get old anytime soon. Well, I mean, it is, but. <laughs> yeah. Stages in this half of the game get longer. There's a lot more to explore. And yeah. Because of the sand desert aesthetic, a lot of people are just like, <laughs> It's too long, I hate it! It's made of sand! It gets everywhere! Star Wars quote! Oop. Yeah, there was- there would have been another, uh... Special stage up there if I had, uh, been a little bit faster. But, you know, I, I wasn't fast enough to actually deal with that. But I was fast enough to deal with that before it even became a threat! Actually, that might have been the egg golem. I'm not sure. Either way, uh... <laughs> that was the boss! Or at least it would have been if I had let it stay on screen for a while. Whoa! Who put that hole there? <clears throat> and then we move on to Lava Reef Zone. This is another fantastic little song. Uh, still don't consider it, you know, a favorite. Like, I, I still like Flying Batteries tune just a little bit more than this, but this is still... I like uh, Lava Reef's uh, music, too. Uh, I, I would still have picked uh, Flying Battery over Lava Reef as far as which level from Sonic Generations I would have rather had a representation for. do 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 do, do. Nothing up there. Well, thanks for trying, Tails. Oop. Oh well. Whatever, it's just an extra life. Oh, these annoying sons of guns. No, I, I don't know what their deal is. Well, I do know what their deal is, but they're little things. They produce a little puff of smoke. It'll slow you down for a bit and steal all your rings, and the only way to get rid of the smoke is by spin dashing. Put that thing there. That's not made of fire. There's nothing but things that are made of fire in this stage. You're not made of fire! Get out of my way! Come through! 
I'm hypersonic. Oh, another ring! Who would have thunk? Bum, 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 bum. And of course, as, as annoying as his hyper mode is, I prefer it. Yeah, <laughs> just turn it off. It's not as. It, it's visually distinct in its own way, and I think. Okay, you know, I don't know how to get to this ring legitimately. Like, I think there's a place underneath this that you can get to it, but you have to be able to fly with tails in order to get to it. But I'm pretty sure... I, I, I could swear that there's supposed to be an entrance, like, above here somewhere that you can get into it from, but I, I don't know what it is. And it seems kind of awkward to me that this is a tails-only sort of area. Because Sonic and Knuckles, you couldn't play as or with Tails. Yeah, I feel like there should... Yeah, there's supposed to be... It, it feels like there's supposed to be a hole here somewhere that you drop down to get into it. But I can't get into it. I don't understand that. Granted, of course, like I say, I'm always, I've always gotten Hyper Emeralds by Mushroom Hill, so I'm not even bothering to think about the emerald, the what other special stage rings I need at this point. Yeah, sorry, I'm just I, I need to have some sort of commentary for this, but I just like the music. Ouch! <sighs> also, apparently these things it just can take your freaking shields. I didn't forgot about that. It's bad enough that they just slowly sap your rings over time. But I forgot that they can just your shield can just be like nope. Goodbye. There's also those fire spitting uh, worm badnik things, and also these badniks, which are just rocks that are explode. Talk about a worthless existence. They're just like, okay, your role in the Eggman Empire is to sit around looking like a rock until someone ste steps by and then you go kablooey! Think you can handle it? Uh, this is a weird boss. And I don't know what these orb things are all about. Like, this hand, I kind of gather, might be from like a prototype or beta project version of the actual final boss, since it's another gigantic Eggman mech that has hands very much like this. But, yeah. With that said, though, uh, we're done with this part of Let's Play Sonic 3 Air. Thank you all for watching. As always, there will be links in the description below to follow up on my various social media outlets and my coffee page if you want to do that. This is the Devossi Mentality out.